Hello and welcome to this lecture on VLAN access lists. So on this lecture I'm going to show you how we can segment and prevent uh, traffic from going from one VLAN to the other with the use of VLAN taggings. So if we go to security and SD-WAN and then firewall we have a rule here that we can add and then here we can actually choose what we have in our uh, addressing and VLANs page. So if we go to the addressing and VLANs and check if we have any VLANs created here. Yes we do. Okay, so we have corporate and guest. In that case, let us go back to firewall. And here we can add new and on the source we choose corporate. As you see, it says VLAN. From corporate, well, let's choose guest actually. From guest, we want to prevent the guest VLAN to reach the uh, corporate VLAN. It's like that, All right? Then we can choose any here and uh, deny. From guest, all right. Then we'll save, finish ed editing, and save. There, so now from, if we hover over this one, we can see that the ID is VLAN 20, and we have the subnet there. So from this 24 uh, sitter mask, we cannot reach, or we're not allowed to reach the, the uh, 172.7.1 dot zero slash 24 network let's say the corporate is changing so if we go back here to addressing a VLAN we can actually change here and this will be reflected to the firewall site uh, so if we just choose this one here we can uh, actually, we don't need to change that. We can actually just change the network here. So, let's say 20, for example, here. Let's change this 17 to 20, just to see if it is reflected to uh, the page in Firewall. So now it's saved. Let's go to Firewall and see if... Uh, the guest VLAN is denying the correct subnet. Hover over this one, and as you see now, the guest VLAN cannot reach the corporate. So this is a great way to uh, uh, prevent, uh, for example, uh, static configuration. So you don't need to change all the time. When you have changed uh, the subnet, it will be reflected here and you don't need to manually configure it. Also you could add it in the templates so if you add it uh, in the templates it will be used in a new site that we, which you add so that's a great way to to automate also. So uh, this is all actually for this lesson I'll just want to show you something uh, or the power of the VLAN access list here uh, to prevent the guest VLAN to reach corporate. So this is uh, that's all for this lecture, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye.